Good morning, and can I welcome everyone to the start of the 22nd meeting of the Equalities and Human Rights Committee in 2018. Uh, can we please ensure all electronic devices are switched to silent? We have apologies from Gail Ross, who's still unwell, and we are joined by Linda Fabiani as a substitute member. Um, we also have Ruth Maguire as a new member of our committee, so welcome to you, Ruth. Um, item one is declaration of interest from our new member, and can I invite you then to declare any interest that you may have, Ruth? no relevant interest to declare. Thank you very much. Our next item of business is a choice of a new convener with the following the departure of our past convener, Christine McKelvey, who was plucked from the ranks to ministerial office. Um, on 1st of June, the Parliament agreed to motion S5M00278, which resolved that members of the Scottish National Party are eligible to be chosen as convener of this committee. Can I seek a nomination for convener of this committee? I nominate Ruth McGuire. Thank you. Um, Ruth, uh, can I, oh, sorry, Linda, thank you for that. Can I seek a seconder for that nomination? I see Fulton McGregor. So, um, there being no further nominations, or, or are there any nominations? No. Uh, that being so, can I put the question to the committee that Ruth McGuire be elected as convener of the Equalities and Human Rights Committee? All the, is everyone agreed? Thank you. So, in which case, um, I guess I hand over if I congratulate you, Ruth, on your appointment, sorry, <laughs> and I'll hand over to the next convener or the new convener um, and I'll take it from here, Ruth. Okay. Thank you very much, Alec and Alex, and um, thanks for holding the reins so ably in the absence of a convener. Um, can I just add my thanks to the, the, the ones that Alec made, Alex made last week to Christina McKelvey um, for her service to the committee as convener and wish her well in her role as Minister for Older People and Equalities. Our next item of business is to further consider our approach to pre-budget scrutiny of the 2019-20 draft budget. The committee previously agreed to consider such discussions in private. Before I suspend the meeting and move into private session, I'd like to advise that at our next meeting on the 20th of September, the committee will continue its evidence taking of the Age of Criminal Responsibility Scotland Bill, and we'll hear from Police Scotland and children's representative organisations. And with that, I suspend and move into private session. <laughs>